sent him, which he already opened today, and then something that she got me, and then something I got myself. So, um, it's just kind of tapping and whispered rambling. I'm gonna see how long I can make this video. My phone's on 10%, but we'll see. Um, anyways, I hope you enjoy, and sorry, out of time if there's any background noise.
says your birthday theme. He liked the idea. So we are doing like a teenage, we're not having a party really. We're just going to have my in-laws and over. And so we're going to order pizza because the Teenage Mutant Ninja, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles love pizza. And then we got a cake that's going to have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle on it. Like just ordered it through the grocery store. And so then he's going to get those two presents later in the day. And in the morning, he'll get to open up this present. Cowabunga, it's my birthday. I thought, saw this on Amazon. I thought it was so cute and perfect. So we're like really running with the theme. So, and then my husband found, like, a kid's Meet Ninja Turtle video game, because they can play video games a little bit. So he's going to download it tonight, and in the morning, he'll open the, bread, the shirt that he can wear all day, and we'll show him the video game, and then we're going to let him play the video game all morning, um, while I go to church and go pick up the cake and pick up the pizza, and then I'll come home with that stuff, and we'll have my in-laws over, we'll eat the pizza, eat the cake, sing, um, and then he can open up the rest of his presents, which were those two, and then my in-laws will have presents for him. So, I don't know, it's kind of fun. I'm gonna see if I can find balloons, because he said he wanted balloons. Because I was like, what do you want to do for your birthday? Because we were thinking of doing, like, a little date, just like us and him, um, like, go to an arcade, or, um, like, an indoor play place or something, and we kind of went back and forth on a few things. The arcade changed our mind because those get so expensive. I think he would like it, but we could just go another time. It's like a special thing. We're like, go, like we thought about um, my husband taking him to like a jumping place. Um, jumping place. Oh, he was thinking of doing, taking him to like a trampoline park. He was thinking of taking him to a trampoline park on his actual birthday, which is Monday, but now we're getting this snowstorm, so I don't think we're going to be leaving. This poor kid last year, the day before his birthday, we, was the day before his birthday? Two days before his birthday, we got into a, a car accident, and then the day before his birthday, I tested positive for COVID, so we couldn't hang out, like, we couldn't have my in-laws over, and so we just, like, stayed in the house for the week. It's just, like, not a great month for birthdays. Comment below if you have a January birthday and if you love it or hate it. I feel bad for him that he has it. Um, because there's not a lot you can do in, like, January is usually when the weather starts to get really bad. I had a friend who said that her birthday is January 7th, and she's like, my birthday is always so shitty. Like, it's always bad weather. And, like, when she was in school, everyone was on holiday break. So, like, she couldn't go party with her friends. It's just, like, it was always just miserable. Um, now she doesn't care because she's in her 30s. But she did say, like, she didn't really like the time of year for her. So, I'm like, you know what? We can just put emphasis on half birthdays and, like, celebrate in the summer. That could be a really cute, fun tradition. Like, do something for your half birthday. Um, especially because, like, all my children are winter babies. So, the weather's probably going to be often bad. Um, I have it to January and then a February and then I have a November now. We always wanted, like after our first was due in January, we were like, okay, let's do summer the next time. And we would have had a summer. We did, we were due um, January 10th, uh, but lost that pregnancy. And then by then we were just like, let's just try to get pregnant, whatever. Like we weren't going to wait longer. 
shirt and then those two toys and then and he's also getting pizza and cake <laughs> so then um, the gifts my mom gave him was a science kit
necessarily do that but I got I don't know it ended up working out and I got them like like the bigger gift was like shared so they couldn't really fight necessarily like they can play it together so it's okay
you're not like the baby needs to nurse you for your body to know to make more so by giving them a bottle you're telling your body oh i already made enough don't make as much next time so supplementing can like be a slippery slope to losing your supply even though it seems like you're helping the baby or like you can feed them a bottle but pump while they're feeding like don't miss a feed um, if you really are committed to breastfeeding I should say like if you don't care if you lose your supply then it doesn't matter do whatever you want
cheap. 